afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right, let's get Twitch on the go. Let's see who turns up first. Josh or Dave. All right, mate. I'm all right. How are you? I'm all good. How was your week? How was your weekend? Oh yeah, did you have a nice time with your mum? I um I, w I met me my mum, my brother and me uh girlfriend uh Saturday. Um we 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 did a little Mother's Day thing then. Um I haven't I've I've played a bit of TEW, I haven't actually played it, played it, but I've been setting things up in place. Um I've booked my first raw show. I've done all my storylines as well, and I added all these events for us. So that's basically the gist of it, because I couldn't do too much, obviously, without continuing. Um, so we'll just wait a few minutes, and we'll wait for Dave, and then hopefully we, we can get cracking. Um, I'm just trying to figure out... I'm just... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to post on my socials, but I'm trying to word it in a way um, to get people interested. Bear with us, Josh. Sorry, mate. I know you're probably waiting. Yeah, it's not. It's it's hard to try and get. I'm really struggling to get new people interested in the Twitch. I mean, I'm getting like one follower every couple of days or something like that um and then really struggling to get new subscribers from my youtube it's a bit down art it's a bit it's a bit yeah it's a bit down arting, as they say
Sorry, Josh, bear with them, just messaging the missus. Right, where's Dave? Is Dave on yet? There he is. Hello, Davey Dave. How's it going, the old mucker? How was your weekend? Did you have a nice Mother's Day? Uh, my weekend was all right, mate. Nothing too exciting. I saw my mum on Saturday with me, uh, with me brother and me girlfriend. But yeah, nothing major exciting. Caught up with all the I've caught up with all the AW stuff now, including the pay per view. I don't know what you're on about, Josh. I thought it was one of the best pay per views I've ever seen. Each to their own. You're entitled to uh, your opinion, but I thought it was a great pay per view. How did your mum react when you talk? Does she know that you're in a relationship with two women at the same time? Or I just think from top to bottom, I thought it was a really good wrestling show. I think there was something for everybody on that. Oh God, she found out on Mother's Day. I bet she was, was she, I, was, I, I could imagine she had questions. We've all had questions. Right, let's load up TW now that you're both here. I've already done my raw um, day, so you don't need to worry about that. But oh, I'll have to do my raw first, and then I'll show you what I've done moving forward. So let's just get it started. Let me see if you can see what I can see. Yeah, you can. Right. Take note, you two. This is how you book a show. So opening the show, we had Rey Mysterio defeating X-Pac. Um, got a 71 rating for that match. I did an angle with John Cena, just basically just to get a 100 score. So there you go. I should have got him to uh, walk out naked with an Oscar like he did last night. Um, Sami Zayn defeated Von Wagner. Got an 82 rating. Von Wagner, after the match, um, destroyed Sami Zayn. Obviously, didn't go down that well. But sometimes you've got to make sacrifices to build stars. Um, just did a random one, like an angle with Steve Austin on his own. Got a 90 rating. So, uh, I've decided to turn AOP into babyfaces to go in a feud against um, Arthur and uh, Samu of the Bloodline. Too many recent turns, there you go. It didn't go down well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too keen on Tony Storm's character as well, if I'm honest with you. The only good thing about it is you get to see Mariah May dress up as old school Tony Storm and she, and she looks amazing, so yeah. Yeah, I can, I can imagine uh, it would take a while to set up the a WWE save as it did with me. Um, but anyway, going back to this. Yeah, so the angle didn't go down well. Uh, mostly because of then the, the bloodline muscle not getting over that well. Next time I think I'll just do Paul Heyman um, and then just them two in the background. Anyway... The Bloodline Muscle defeated AOP. Uh, confusingly, I need to turn Tully Blanchard as well. Keep forgetting about that. Right, we did a freestyle angle with... Um, so, basically, I've now got um, Andrade in a heel faction... Um, with Humberto and Angel Garza. So basically, because I couldn't get Santos Escobar, because one of you two buggers got him, um, I had to put Andrade in there. So we basically did a six, I think it was a, 
I can't. I think it was just a promo. It was just all six men on the mic. Um, but it went it went relatively well. Got a seventy eight rating, and then we did a six man tag match with the bad guys winning. Um, I called them Los Ingobernables Americana. I probably pronounced that wrong, Josh. But yeah, you know what I'm like. To uh, Tsunami. There you go. Tsunami. Um, Oh, we haven't done the heel turn yet with Andrade. I thought I already did the heel turn. Right. I'm going to soon change that. Uh, angle. Andrade. Overness, I suppose. Uh, Bobby Lashley. I know, just do fighting. Fighting. Selling. Eight minutes. Do that. That. Right, that's that done. Book. Continue show. Handle changes. Yeah, it's fine. Sometimes they're just not going to work because you do too many of them, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, got an 80 rate for that. Right, we did a match with Alexa Bliss and Ronda Rousey defeating Bailey and Charlotte Flair. Got a 97 reign, so that's really good. Um, I'm doing storyline with Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey and one with Bailey versus Alexa Bliss, so that's why I put them together. And then I did an angle afterwards where basically the bad guys beat up the good guys, got an A8 rating. Um, did a promo battle with. Randy Orton, CM Punk, because I've started a new storyline with them two. Uh, did the match, got a 91 rating to start the, start the feud. Um, and I did a Randy Orton heel turn, which was obviously a complete disaster, but it's done now. So Randy Orton um, attacked CM Punk after the match, so that gets the feud up and running. Got a 93 rating for that. So even after all that, I've still got a 93 rating. So who's going to be the uh, historian to make sure that we, we know who did the best in that in that on the episode? Josh, do you want to do that or do you want to do it, Dave? Yeah, don't worry, Dave. We can go through your roster as, we, as we're, what, we're booking it. Same with Josh. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I got a 93 rating. So we're only going to do it by show ratings because there's no point doing it by how many like viewers we got because um, Dave's got a completely different TV deal to, to we have. So it wouldn't be very fair, I don't think. So if we just do it on match, if we just do it on show rating. So yeah, so you've got a, a difficult task in hand, you two, to get better than 93. Right, when this loads up, I'm going to... So, Josh, in a minute, I'm going to go through your roster again. And then um, I'm going to get you to give me some storylines some in from the people that you've got. So we can do that if you want. You don't have to do storylines if you don't want to. And same with you, Dave. So we'll... Uh... Let me. I'll, t I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. First, let me just tell you what I've done since you've last been here. Uh, right, twenty-three million viewers yesterday. Right then, Dave and Josh. So basically, um, I mentioned it. Uh, I think you're next, Josh, or it might be Dave actually. No, Dave's next. So we'll do. I tell you what. We'll do Dave's first, and then once we've booked Dave's show, we'll 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 do yours second. Hopefully, we'll get. A show each in every stream. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so to Dave, I've mentioned it to Josh uh, offline, but I have done loads of events for us. So we've got uh, we've got an event each for every month. So 
Actually, can, can you see the event screen? I don't think you can. Right, bear with us. I need to see. I need you to show you what I can see. Uh, right. I'm hoping you can see that well enough. Yeah, you can have storylines if you want, but you don't like. I'm, all I'm saying is, if you'd rather just book the shows and not have any storylines, that's fine as well. So yeah, so basically, as you can see on here, I've got. Well, let me have a look at the full screen. So um, yeah, so I booked a, an event each. I basically took logos that were on the picture packs already, and then just sorted out the events for them. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we've got some exciting, we've got some like themed events as well, like the King of the Ring. Um, there's other ones like Money in the Bank, TLC, so Extreme Rules. So look, if you look at this one here, July, we've got Extreme Rules, Hell in a Cell, and Tables, Ladders, and Chairs. So we can do some crazy matches in them. Um, and then we've got King of the Ring. May, I've done the May Young Classic as well for um, for all of us. So what we can do is do a tournament where we pick two women in each or some, or three women each, whatever it equals to 12. I think it's four in it. Four each, sorry. Four women each. Uh, and then some events, if they haven't got the name of the brand on it, that means it's a... It's a Oh, was I supposed to do Money in the Bank as a... No, Money in the Bank is a uh, a dual brand. So if they haven't got the brand's name on, that means we're all involved and we'll figure it out as we go along. So I'm glad you're happy with that. Right. Um, right, so let's get rid of that now. Now you've seen that. Yep, so that's that. Um, right, let me think. There was other things I was meant to mention, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, so basically, if you want me to sign anybody for the for you to then put in on the roster that isn't on the roster already, let me know. I've decided to bring back Braun Strowman and Karrion Cross and Scarlet because I'm having them in my Wyatt family stable. Um, I am a bit short on baby faces, so hat and heel. I've had to try and get the balance right between baby face and heels on the male side of things. So. Yeah, so it's, I've had to do some jigging about a bit. Um, there was other things, but I can't remember at the top of my head. So let me just quickly show you my Wyatt family stable I've done. So I've got, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. You want the, the Good Brothers? Yeah, yeah. I um, So I didn't release them. I basically deleted them off the database before I started. So I don't remember who else I got rid of, but it'll probably be anybody like anybody rubbish in my eyes, like Omos, for instance, MVP. I don't think I kept him. So there's quite a few. Actually, if I show you, right. So first of all, Josh wants um, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. So let me just quickly do this before I forget. Right, a lot of happy people. Right, so that's them sorted. So what we'll do is if we search reset and then if we go by, is it Overness, I think? Popularity, yeah. So if we do 70 popularity, uh, nothing's come up. Oh, well, I know why. Right, get rid of Luke Gallows, that might help. Right, now I'm going to, yeah, you can see what I, you can see what I can see. Um... When it comes to wrestlers whose contracts expire, um, yeah, I know, but just because he's he's coming back doesn't mean. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it open. If either of you lot want to um, bring the Brock Lesnar back, I don't think he's on the database. I think I think they just deleted him for some reason. I could be wrong. Is he on here? If 
Oh, there he is, Brock Lesnar. You're right, I'll bring him back. Oh, no, we can't bring him back. He's considered toxic. If you don't want to bring him back, I'll leave it up to you. Do you want to bring him back even though he's got a toxic rep? It's up to you. On your head, be it. What we can do, okay, so, yeah, because I keep getting stuck halfway through what I'm saying. Right, so, basically, any wrestlers that contracts expire from other companies like AEW and New Japan, what we'll do initially is, when I sign them, I'll sign them, but I'll make them so they can wrestle for either any of our, any all of our brands for now, because otherwise we've got to then try and figure out a fair system for every wrestler that comes up available to them, who, which brand are they going to. And then if we do this longer than, say, 12 months, we or in, say, six months' time, we can do another brand split. And then that way we can include the new signings as well to make it a little bit more fair. So, right, that's that done. Um, so let's go back to the top of here. Alberto, does anybody want to sign Alberto L. Patron, even though he's toxic as well? Let me know. Josh, Dave, yes or no? No. No. Okay. Is there any wrestlers on here? What about Lita? Do any of you want to sign Lita? I got rid of Lita and Trish Status because they're not full-time performers, so I didn't bother having them. I didn't see the point in having them on the roster. You want Alexa? As in Alexa Bliss, who I've already got on my roster... I've already got Alexa. She's in the storyline with Bailey, remember? Come on, Josh. You're the historian here. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no. Sorry. This is people... I need to get... How do you do it with works for... I don't know. If we do works for nobody... Unemployed. There you go. We do unemployed. There we go. So this makes it a little bit easier for us to figure out... Does anybody want to sign Road Dog? Road Dog, yes or no? Josh and Dave, let me know. Yes or no? Or if there's anybody on it, no. No. Okay. Uh, Beth Phoenix, I got rid of her. Does anybody want to sign Beth Phoenix? I'll tell you what, I'll go through the list and then when I click on them, just say the, the, put the wrestler's name that you want. That'll probably be the quickest way to do it, isn't it? Yeah, don't worry. I'm just going to go through the down the list here. For some reason, we've got two Albertos here. Uh, Drago. We've got Lars Sullivan. Hulk Hogan, brother. Eric Bischoff. Jerry Lawler. Jim Duggan. Kane. Does anybody want Kane? You want Nia Jax? Are you being serious right now? Oh, Josh, I'm very disappointed in you. You want Nia Jax? Okay, that's fine. A lot of happy people on the roster, so... Um, it's Kevin Nash. MVP. You put Nia Jax... Josh, do you want Nia Jax or not? Because you, you said her name, so I assume you want her. Or did you, did you mean that by accident? I don't know. I'm confused. While, you're, while I'm waiting for you, I'm going to have a quick look on my Facebook for a second. Right, sorry, right. Oh, you won that. Okay, cool. Sorry. Right, let's go back. Um, Mark Gingerak. Nikki Bella. Shane O'Mac. Stephanie, Godfather. The Great Carly, The Undertaker. I assume you want The Undertaker, Josh. Dave, do you want The Undertaker? Do you want Trish Status? 
Tyson Fury, Vampiro, or Vince McMahon with his lovely moustache. If there's any of them you want, let me know. If not, just say no, and then we'll... Right, all good. Dave, what about you? No, okay, cool. Right then, Dave, you're booking next. So we need to, first of all, look at your roster. Uh, oh, hold on, first, I need to sort out morale, morale issues. Bear with us. Right, Andrade is happy. Randy Orton's, oh, no, no. Right, Randy Orton's not happy. Uh, oh, Acom has big morale issues for some reason. Right, that's that sorted. Right then, let's go to the roster, and then I, what I'll do is uh, we'll go brand, dynasty. Yeah, I'm going to do um, Dave first, Josh, because simply because his show's coming up next, so it probably makes sense to do his next and then yours afterwards. Is that okay? Otherwise, we're doing yours and then we'd have to do Dave's anyway. Might as well do it in that order. Because he's on a Wednesday night, I'm on a Monday night, you're on a Friday night, so you'll be last. So, um, yeah. Dave, shall I do the male roster first for you? And then you can tell me what storylines you want. So we do male... And then we'll do, oh no, wrestler. Right, so there's your male roster. Can you see that though? You can't see anything, can you? That's annoying. Right, bear with us. Right. Dave, you uh, do you want to have a look at that roster and let me know? If you want me to scroll down, I can scroll down as well. Just let me know. Sorry, bear with us, Dave. Right, I'm coming. There you go. I was distracted then. Sorry, my mate, my mate was messaging me. She's going through a bit of a shit time at the moment. Right. Uh, can you also put wrestlers? Yeah, I've already done it. So it's just wrestlers. Just showing you wrestlers at the moment. So you've already seen part of the roster. So if I just scroll. There you go. So that's the other part of the roster. If you want me to scroll back up, let me know. Um, oh, hold on. There we go. What I can do, Dave, if if you quickly write down some of your key work, key workers, key wrestlers on a piece of paper, and then while you're figuring out who you want to do in storylines, what I'll do for a few minutes as well, and I'll put up the roster for the male roster for Josh, so then he can do the same. So just quicken the process a bit, and then. And then while you're telling me which storylines to do, Josh can then figure out what storylines he wants to do on this piece of paper. And then I can do Josh's storylines. And then we can start booking your two shows because obviously we've already done half an hour and I've only done one show and I want to get everything right. No matter how long it takes, it just takes how long it takes really. So Dave, if you let me know when, you're, when you've looked at your roster enough, Done. Is that done? I assume that means done. Yeah. Right then. So you start figuring out what storylines you want to do. Do you want to have a look at your female roster first? Let me just quickly show you your female roster before I pass it over to Josh. So that's your female roster if you want to quickly write some of them down. Let me know when you've looked at that and you've got uh, and, and you're done with that and then I can show Josh as his then. 
You've got some decent female workers, because you've got AJ Lee, who was always pretty good when I was booking her. Oscar's always consistent. Chelsea Green's okay. Dakota Kai's okay. Oh, yeah, Sky's brilliant. Uh, Kari Sane's brilliant. Uh, Millie McKenzie's one in, the, one in the making. Tiffany Stratton's another one as well. So, And you've got a few of the little wrestlers that can come along. Let me know when you're done with that. Done. Okay. Right then, Josh. Time to have a look at your roster. I'll just show you. I'll show you female roster first, and then just let me know when you're done. And then I'll show you the male one. But you got you got a good winners. I think we're all pretty. I think we're all got a pretty good female roster. If I'm honest with you. Got some sort of chocolate on my laptop. Get off. Right, there we go. Right, Josh, let me know when you've looked at the female roster and you've wrote down some of the key wrestlers, and then I'll show you male roster. Done. Okay. Right, I'll show you male roster now. So you got a small male roster? I didn't. I thought. Um, I don't know. We had that conversation last time, didn't we? Doesn't matter. Let me know when you've looked at your male roster and you finish that, and then Dave can start telling me what storylines story he wants to do for his brand. Where is the rock? Uh, yeah, good question. Where is the rock? He's there. He's on your brand. Is it because he's an occasional wrestler and that's not why it's coming up? Hold on, let me see if I can talk him into being a full-time wrestler again. Uh, there you go, he's a full-time wrestler now. I'm going to do the same with Steve Austin, actually, before I forget. And then... Bear with us, I'll go back on yours in a second. There you go, he's happy. Uh, right, let's go back. Mail... Wrestler, Smackdown. There you go, the rocks come up now, so you'll be alright. Yeah, yeah. So, have you done, have you done, are you done on both of yours now? Okay, Dave, are you ready to tell me which storylines you want to do? While you're while you're doing that, I need to make sure that Raw is only for Raw brand. Modify. Is it that brand? Ah, that's why it was playing up. Right, so that's brand. And then Dynasty, Dynasty, SmackDown. Down. There we go. So that'll make it easier for everybody now. Here comes the booking. 
Right, okay, Dave, tell me your first tell me your first storyline, I'll book it, mate. Just let me know which who's going who versus who and if there's any additional workers you want in there. I've got loads of storylines, by the way. I do apologise. I've got like six storylines, but I'm just being greedy. You don't necessarily have to have six if you don't want to. Women's storyline is okay. So the Kabuki Warriors versus Chelsea Green and Mandy Rose. You know that both. You know that all four of them are heels, though, don't you? Okay, I need to make. I need to make them as a tag team first. They're already in a stable, actually. To be honest, Chelsea Green and Mandy Moore. Uh, Mandy Rose, sorry. They're called the A-list because I made them. So you can always call I'll just call them the A-list tag team. A-list. Oh, hold on. I need to call them the A-list too then. This is already a tag team. Right. Uh storyline. Add storyline. The A-list. Versus the Kabuki Warriors. Let me just check you definitely do want to do that. Uh I'll check the I'll check the product in a second. Oh hold on. I need to edit that. Alter. I just need to put dynasty here. Right. Can you see that by the way? Yeah you can. It's alright. What's the next one, sorry? New Day versus Judgment Day, please, the story. Hello, Bazinga. Nice to see you again. We are uh, independently booking, all three of us are booking different brands for WWE on TW. So it might be a bit confusing for you, but yeah. How are you, mate? You're all right. Right, New Day. What have you been up to? Do you have a good week? Do you have a good weekend? How was Mother's Day? Right, New Day. How was it in lovely Sunderland? Any more storylines, Dave? I feel like you're lacking a big um, top top man top main event storyline. Maybe you maybe want to do that. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'll do that now. AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens versus. Oh, and I'll just do Styles. I'll just do AJ. Versus Owens, versus Nakamura. Oh no, I'll do Styles. There you go. Uh, since the I've done it again. Why has that done that? Why is that not coming up? Do we only get a certain amount of characters? What's going on here? I'll just I'll just type I'll just put Kabuki. Right, Kabuki. Now was that saved? Oh, that's easy. Right. Um, just quickly need to. Where are you? Where's that gone? There you go. Oh, it is on there. Sorry. Right. Um, what? I'm confused now. So you want it to be a four way now? Yeah. 
No, I've not played WWE yet. I will get it at some point, though. So you want Bronson Reed in there now as well? I think Bronson Reed's not rated very well on the game, though. So it's up, it's up to you, though. You could always build him up. Oh, you want him? Okay. Um, right. Where have you gone? Styles, there we go. Uh, Alter. Right. Mini tournament. No, that's true. You might need to make Bronson Reed uh, a superstar just to help with that. Right, so do you want to have a, another couple of minutes um, to think and then I'll, I'll ask Josh now to give me three storylines he wants and then we'll just keep going back and forth until you... Oh, that's it for you anyway. Okay, Josh, what's your storylines then, please, mate? Cool. Thank you, Dave. Just bear with us now. We'll just need a few minutes to get... Josh's storylines. Or oh, do you want to old day? Oh, Josh, do you want a bit of time to figure it out? Oh, the bloodline. Okay. So, as in, like, just give me the the who's who's going against who. Or do you want me just to call it the bloodline? I assume you just want me to call it the bloodline, don't you? Oh, so it's blood, Bloodline versus Cody. You can't have all of them because you can only have four, can't you? Remember, on the storyline, you can only have four. So do you want... So do you want Do you want me just to put The Rock, Roman Reigns... Oh, can you? Oh, I didn't realise you could do that afterwards. I thought you could only have four maximum. Okay. So what we'll do then, we'll just put The Rock, Roman Reigns... We'll just put the uh, versus Cody... And Seth, uh, SmackDown, right, The Rock, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, and Seth Rollins. And then, apparently, right, so let's add Worker, Solo, Support Role. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that makes it a bit better when it comes to doing storylines in the future. Uh, anybody else I'm missing? Oh, Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso. You want Jay Uso in there as well? Because haven't you got both? I think you've got Jay, Jay and Jimmy Uso on your roster. So we do Cody Rhodes aligned with him, Roman Reigns aligned with The Rock, and then we'll put Jimmy Uso aligned with The Rock, no, with Roman Reigns, Solo Sequoia aligned with Roman Reigns. So that's that, that's that sorted. Morning, Jay. Oh, bloody hell, Jay, oh, you're actually here relatively early. Fair play. I appreciate you turning up early. How are you today, my friend? Are you okay? I mean, it's morning for you. It's afternoon for us. But yes, I will totally agree. Happy morning to you. Thank you for joining us. You're watching us uh, make magic as we speak, booking the uh, WWE. Yeah, it's Monday. But, you know, once Monday's done, you're closer to the weekend. That's how I always see it as. Um, Josh, any other storylines? You've only got one at the moment. So I've got to alter every single bloody one of them now. You bugger. Oh, hold on, now I need to do... Do that. Do that. Right. 
I'll save that. I'll do that then. Just give me a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. Let me just check the chats on this and anything. Hold on, Josh. Just bear with us because now you've got me to do all this and it's just going to take me a second. Um, it was just uh, the Dynasty name was just one that, that Dave come up with because we wanted free brands. Um, and uh, Dave come up with Dynasty and then I created a logo for it. So... Yeah, that's the one. I, I yeah, I, I post that on Facebook. That's good. At least people are seeing the the posts on the Facebook. I'm happy about that. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, so we've all got yeah. So Dave created the brand. He called it Dynasty. I did a logo for it. We've got separate titles for every brand. We've got separate events for every brand as well. So yeah, so fun times ahead. But I just need to alter this first. So just give me a couple more minutes while I do this. Because I'm not, I'm a typical man, we can't multitask. Nearly finished. This must be great to great uh, viewing for people on here. Right, I think that's all of them. Did, 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 did. Yep, yeah, so, right, okay, right. Josh, we are all... Yeah, you missed it. Right, let me just catch up with everybody. Messages, sorry. Yeah, you missed the draft, unfortunately, but there is a stream. Um, you can watch the stream on Twitch on the... Re if you look, click on my, on my profile on here on the video section, it'll be on there, but you can also check it on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I'll just find it, you know. Uh, my channel. There you go, JBR Z. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube as well if you want, mate. I will be posting the replay of this stream later on as well. But yeah, it'll have it'll have um. There's a playlist separately, and you've got all the TW stuff on there, and it'll be the um, the the draft was the the latest video I posted. So um, yeah, hold on then. Right, okay. I do. I have six storylines, but there's a reason for that, Dave. Because yeah, <laughs> that's the reason. So there. Right. 
Lynch, Ripley, Belair, and Morgan and Storm. Is, is it like a four way or is it going to be two two of them versus two of them? Isn't Becky Lynch a heel now? Didn't I turn a heel? No, I didn't, did I? A four way. Okay. Uh, right, Josh, one at a time. Let me just do this and then I'll check the other messages in a second. So. Smackdown. Lynch versus. Ripley. Uh, versus Ripley. Oh, for God's sake, can't type today. Versus Belair. Versus Morgan. Becky Lynch. Rhea Ripley. Uh, Bianca Belair. Liv Morgan. Right, so that's that done. And then... No one aligned. Yeah, that's fine. Um, right, let me just do the next one. Seamus LA Knight. Drew McIntyre, The Miss, right. Seamus versus LA Knight versus Drew versus The Miss. Seamus LA Knight. Uh, let me just see if I've got everything in the messages. Can you edit the bottom storylines as they accidentally put? I don't. Oh, I don't. What have I done? Let me read that again. Can you edit the bottom storylines you've accidentally put? I... Yeah, because there's. Yeah, because basically. Oh, okay. Is there, is there some sort of grammatical error that I've done? Okay, hold on there. Right, let's try this again. There we go. Dynasty. The A list. I'll just put A list. There. Versus Kabuki. Right. right, there you go. Right, that's that sorted. Any other? Does anybody want any more storylines? Josh or Dave, throw them at me. If there's any more storylines that you want. You're all done as well. Dave, are you all done? Done. Right, okay. Sorted. Uh, right, so my next show is Dynasty tomorrow night. So we'll just quickly forward this, process this. Oh, done for me. Three will do for a show. Who are our champs again? I will... I will click on the titles once this finishes processing. Uh, JBR, if you have any um, any like storylines or matches that you want one of us to book on the rosters that we've got, let us know. Yeah. I'm always open to suggestions. Right, let's have a look at the champions. Uh, let me just have a look at this first. So, Trickers... Turned up on our roster. Uh, Tony Nice is officially available. Whoever's got him, I can't remember who's got him. Uh, oh yeah, trick. Right. Let me just reset this first. I just need to send Trick Williams to NXT. There we go. Send him over to NXT. Why wouldn't he let us do that? Oh, apparently already works there. Would you? Would any of you two have any issue with me having him on the Raw roster for now? Yes, I'll turn off the face heel divide in a sec. Uh, I'll just send him on mine. I can't imagine any of you like that kick off that much about it. Right, uh, product... Right, so sorted the product out, so we don't need to worry about that now. Right, can you see the champions? Yes, you can. Uh, let me just reset this so you can see everything. Right, so there you go. So 
we've got the Dynasty Heavyweight title. Well, have a think, Josh. Off, have a think offline, Josh. Um, or if you want me to do it now during the stream while um, after Dave's done his show, that's fine. Just have a think while Dave's doing his show. But we'll get Dave's show done because we're coming up to an hour now and we've only done one show. So let me just quickly show you the, the title roster. So we've got the Dynasty Tag Team Champions. Um, I've got the European title. Intercontinental Champion is on Dynasty. So your mid-card title is the Intercontinental title, Dave. I've got obviously the Raw Tag Team titles. Um, we've got the, I've got the Raw Women's title. Um, Josh, you've got the SmackDown Tag Titles and the Women's title, Becky Lynch. Um, United States Champion, which is on SmackDown. So that's your mid-card title. And then you've got Cody Rhodes as your Universal Champion. And then we've got the Women's Tag Champions, which are on Dynasty. Right, are we all happy with the titles? Situation. We all keep. We all been watching that while I've been talking about it. So I click continue. You're all ready to go. Is there anything else you want to look at before I click up for Dave's first show? Are you happy to crack on? All good. Dave, is there anything else you want to do before you book your first show? Okay. Right then, Dave, you're ready to book your first show then. Um, right, let's just have a look at the backstage incidents. Uh, Shelton Benjamin was taken to wrestler's court. He had to pay for his travel partner's expenses for whatever reason. I mean, it wasn't really that important. Um, right, what do you want to start with, a match? I told you a minute ago, yeah. Yeah, you've got the uh, In The Continental title, let me just click on it again. In The Continental title, you've got Bron Breaker as your champion because he beat Gunther for it. So, yeah. Yeah, so your mid-card title's in the Continental title. You've got the women's tag team titles and you've got... I think you've got your own tag titles as well, men's tag titles. So you've got more belts than us, I think. I think you like got one more than the rest of us. I could be wrong. My mid-card title is the European title. Start with a New Day promo. So like a freestyle angle with New Day. Just the New Day. Are we on about all three members or just Xavier Woods and... Kofi, because they're the... I oh know you haven't got Biggie, so it won't matter. Right, then. Are we doing rated... Are we rating it on microphone for both? I don't think you've got Biggie. You haven't got Biggie. Hold on. Josh, are you telling me how to book Dave's show? I'm really confused. It's Dave's show now, not yours. Yeah, right, so let's let's get let's make this easier for everybody. Yeah, so I'm first. It goes in this order: me, Dave, Josh. Monday, me. Wednesday, Dave. You on Friday, because obviously you're Friday night SmackDown. I'm Monday night Raw. He's Wednesday night Dynasty. Yeah. So Dave, how do you want to book? What do you want to do? Book your first segment. Let me just cancel this now. Then. So you just relax, Josh. I mean, you say it's a good idea, but I don't. I don't think you can book the new day because you haven't got the new day on your roster. Toggle. Let me just check that it is only the brands on here. Let me just see if it is only the main the roster that. Uh, I'll off, drop that. Going on here? Why is it not showing up? Oh, what's happened here? 
Oh, I know why. Reset. Let's try that now. There we go. Oh, that's good. So it's definitely only got the, the roster that you've got. So that makes it a lot easier. Right. Right, let's see what Dave says. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, so um, JBR3Z, I've done... Um, I've done an event for everybody every month. So each, all of us have got uh, a, a pay-per-view each. So Friday night, it's mostly me. It's most, one of us will have one on Friday night. One of us will have it on, one of us will have a pay-per-view on Saturday night. And then one of us will have a pay-per-view on Sunday night. So there might be a day where one of us is, for instance, um, Josh will be booking SmackDown, but then I'll be booking a pay-per-view on the same day after or before him. And stuff like that and so we're basically trying to have a, a brand each on every month so that we so the poor WWE fans now are going to have three pay-per-views if not four pay-per-views sometimes every month yeah it's oh no I haven't no no I, I was going to do that no I'll, let me start again so we're going to have a pay-per-view each of the month uh some months so basically it'll either be week one or week two one of us We'll have a pay-per-view on the Saturday night. And then the next Saturday, it will be the next brand. And then the Saturday after that, will be the next brand. Yeah. Sorry. Originally, it was going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the last week of every month. But I thought that's probably a bit too much for one week. Show me my roster quick again, men's. Okay. Take a screenshot on your phone, Dave. That would be easier, wouldn't it? And then that way, you've got it there. Same with you, Josh, next time it's your turn. So you can look at it so it saves you doing it. Right. Brand. I don't mind doing this. It just makes it easier. Wrestler. There we go. I'll scroll down in a second. I'll let you have a quick look. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Oh, you do have some. Yeah, you do have them. Why did I say you, that Josh had them? Josh, you don't have bloody uh, New Day. Sorry, Dave, I apologise. I think, yeah. For some reason, I think Josh probably thought that he had New Day. You've got Biggie, jo uh, I think Josh has got Biggie and you've got the tag team, Kofi and Xavier Woods. I think that's what's happened. Or have you got Biggie? I oh, know you've got Biggie as well. Yeah, you got all three. Right, Dave, let's get this rolling. What do you want to do? Do you want to book? Hold on, let me just scroll down the bottom of the roster so you can see everybody. Right, angle, okay. <laughs> Nick and Josh is, oh, okay, okay. So you just want to, so explain to me what you want to do. Do you want to do a judge, do you want to do a new day judgment Day promo battle, or do you want to do okay? All on mic, okay? There, right? Mm, let me see if you can see what I can see. Yeah, you can, that's fine. The Kofi Xavier, and then how do you want? Both Dame, Dom and Damien, so Finn, okay. So just Finn Balor on the mic. And then Damien Priest. Dominic, there we go. And then we'll just do advanced storyline. Right, that's your first bit. Now what's your second bit? Uh, do you not have JD? No, you have JD McDonough. Then we there. You got JD McDonough. You just haven't got Rhea Ripley. Josh has got Rhea Ripley, but Rhea Ripley left the left the New Day after WrestleMania anyway, because I did an angle where she left them and turned babyface. Yeah, I'll add him. I'll add him now. Not rated, I assume. Right, what's your next thing that you want to do?
Hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat. Feel free to uh, join in. Right, okay. So you want Cruise and Wild versus Imperium. I assume it will be like a 20 minute tag match. Unless you tell me otherwise, I'm just going to always assume it's 20 minutes because that's what the minimum is for the product. Uh, Imperium win, Kaiser gets the pin. Okay. Anything you want me to add to that, I'll just leave it as that, yeah? I assume that's just that you just keep it simple, don't we? Right, just do that. Right, what's your next uh next thing you want to do? Josh, I hope you're uh, writing down as we speak what you want your show to be. Because I want I wanna I wanna get your show booked as quickly as possible because Actually, it doesn't matter as long as it's done, but within the two hours, I don't mind how long you lot take. As long as it's as long as we finish with the, everybody doing a show, then that's fine. Right, Chelsea Green versus Oscar. Right, what's your next uh, next bit then, Dave? Angle between green, rose, and us. Okay. Get it. Kabuki getting attacked. Okay, that's fine. So are we doing both Chelsea Green and Mandy Rose fighting with Oscar and Kari, Kari saying selling? How do you want to do the angle? Okay, Oscar and Kari fighting, but they're getting beaten up, aren't they? Oh, oh getting a, you just put Kabuki getting attacked, so surely it would be selling for them. Unless, do you mean the Kabuki Warriors end up attacking? Are the Kabuki Warriors doing the attacking, or is it going to be Chelsea and Mandy? So you want Chelsea and you want. Carry and, and, and ask her to attack Chelsea and Mandy after the after the match, yeah? Because you put Kabuki getting attacked, not rated. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but I, I think we're getting, yeah, I think we're just getting confused. You put, I'm not bothered, like, but what I'm saying is you put Kabuki getting attacked. You said, you said Kabuki getting attacked. What you meant was Kabuki attacking, didn't you? That's all it was. It was just, I was confusing what you put. That's all. I just wanted clarification up before I did it. Because if I'd had an asked for clarification, I'd have done Mandy and Chelsea attacking the Kabuki Warriors afterwards, which is probably not what you wanted. Right, what's the next thing you want to do, Dave? So I just want to let you know how long you've done so far. You've gone, you've done 60 minutes. Ideally, you need to do another 60 minutes of booking. Bron Breaker beats Santos Escobar. Okay.
Do you want that open in the show? Is the order of that okay so far? Is there any is there anything you want me to change on the order of the of the the show? Right, so angle so AJ versus right and then AJ and red on mug, okay. Shinsuke, wasn't it? Show open, now can open, okay. And then do Imperium tag, okay. Right, done that. Move Bron match one all, okay. Now what you've got you've got a bit of time are you doing a are you gonna do like a tag team match with the the, the four wrestlers are you gonna do Reed and Nakamura versus Owens and Styles or I don't know I'll let you figure it out you let me know you've done 90 minutes so far so you've got another half an hour so you could probably do with like a main event now couldn't you Still there, Dave. Oh, there you go. AJ versus oh, it's 30 minutes. Oh, that's going to be brave. Is that your main event, yeah? I think poor Kevin Owens would have a, will have a heart attack by the time he finishes that. Is that your main, yeah, main event, All right, okay. Right, are you happy with that? Did it give stamina warning? No, it didn't, weirdly. No, no stamina warning. Sorry, I forgot you can't say things like that. If I see him, I'll let you know. In the future. Right, you've done... One hour and you've done 122 minutes, which is two hours and two minutes. Is there anything else you want to move from? Oh, did I accidentally move them down one? Sorry. Then done. Right, so you're done? Are you happy? Just want to know before I click continue. Have you set the colour announcers? 
all the same. So the announcers are, they're all, they're basically, uh, before I start the show, let me just, can it show me announcers? Right, let me just show you what I've done for announcers. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, you can. So for the events, I've got Michael Cole, Corey Graves and Mauro Romero. So I'm trying to get the best announced teams possible with what we've got. And then Raw, I've jigged it a bit. So I've got Michael Cole, Paul Heyman and Jim Ross. Smackdown, you've got Michael Cole, Pat McAfee and Jim Ross. If you want me to change them, let me know before the show. Dynasty, you've got Michael. Actually, do you know what? I'll give you my. I'll give you Corey Graves instead of Pat McAfee, um, Josh. So it makes it better for you. Um, and then Dynasty, you've got Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and Mauro Romero, which is probably the best announced team you can get. Uh, I'll just change that to Corey as well. So that's that done. Right. Yeah, no, I noticed afterwards that I was thinking Pat McAfee's colour commentary is not as good as Corey Graves, so it wouldn't be it would be a disservice to you, Josh, if I had that. So I I've sort of set them the same, but I've sort of made them a little bit different. I'm more old school, so I prefer Jim Ross and Paul Heyman in there with Michael Cole, but that's just me. Uh nice, that's great. Did you turn off? Yeah, turn off heel and face. I've already turned it off. It's just you didn't see it on the screen, that's all. Right, are you ready? Let's go. That's what I wanted in here. So you, your first segment, got a 77 rating. Um, Finn Balor come across well. I'll just give it a few seconds and then I'll click continue to the next bit so you've got enough time to read it. Because there is a slight delay on the stream, so what I'm seeing you won't necessarily see. Uh, Imperium defeated LWO, got a 78 rating. Let me just check the chat to make sure I'm not missing anything. If there's anything, what I'll do after every segment, I'll just quickly check the chat and then if there's something you want me to add on the booking sheet before we do the next bit, let me know. Um, Oscar defeated Chelsea Green, got a 79 rating. Um, Chelsea Green sustained a sprained ankle. Dave, your first storyline's screwed already. Chelsea Green's injured. Yeah, you'll have to just do loads of single matches with uh, Mandy Rose, won't you? Um, hopefully it won't be a uh, major one. Chelsea Green and Oscar have good chemistry, so that's good. That's a good note to know. Right, next one. Chelsea Green sustained a, a sprained ankle in the match. There was no backstage heat though, so that's good. Um, and then the angle afterwards um, got a 68 rating. Oscar looked good. Yeah, you're not going to get home runs every time. I mean, the, the whole point, the, when I was picking the wrestlers for my brand, I wanted to make sure I had wrestlers that can just have amazing promos so what I lack in wrestlers I make up for in microphone because that's what seems to work with WWE uh, Bron Breaker defeated Santos Escobar made his first defence got an 80 rating Santos Escobar benefited from anyway right um, the angle that he did with the four wrestlers did well Kevin Owens struggled when going off script, so I think that's just a, a, a blip though, because Kevin Owens is very good at improvising, so I don't understand why he's done that. Right, and in your main event, you got a 78 rating, Kevin Owens won. Uh, there was luckily no, no knack, like there was no notes to say that the wrestlers were knackered afterwards, so that's good. You got a 79 rating, but you lost. Uh, popularity in 11 regions. But it's not bad for a first show, it's just take takes your time. Yeah, it doesn't matter, Dave, don't worry about it. I think I think the, the, the problem you've got that we haven't got is we've got really good, we've got really good people on the mic because I've got, 
you know, I've got Paul Heyman, I've got I've got Stone Cold, I've got John Cena, I've got of all others as well, CM Punk, and then De- and then Josh has got Cody Rhodes, The Rock, um, Drew McIntyre. So I don't know who you've got on the mic that can match that. It might be worth us looking at wrestlers or managers that are uh, available to sign that could to, can be a good promo to help you with that. I don't know. Right, end the show. Josh, are you making note of that? Dave got a 78 rating. Have you wrote it down in your little your little document? I set the bar too high, didn't I? 93. I think 93 is the best rating we've had for anything in it so far. Right. Uh, Natalia. Oh, I've also signed... I've also signed Joe Gacy to go into the White family and also Boogs. If you remember Boogs, I'm going to have him in um, in the White family. So I've done a few little signings. But if there's anybody you want me to sign, let me know. Um, just seeing if there's any. You've got a 6.5 TV rating. You've got 4.6 million viewers for that one. ESPN are unhappy with the quality of last night's Dynasty. So, uh, and then Chelsea Green's injured. Let me just check to see how long. I'll have a look, see how long Chelsea's injured for for you. Where's medical again? There we go. So, uh, medical, she's only out for six days and you can still put her in angles. So, you can still have... Don't beat yourself up about it, Josh. Honestly, it's all right. It's probably, like you said, it's probably what um, what Josh said. It's just random. Um But yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, so Chelsea Green's up for six days, so you can still put her in angles. Um, Jimmy Uso will be back in 21 days, Josh. So you can't put him in... Uh, you can't put him in angles or matches or anything for the next three weeks. Right, let me just see if there's anything else. I'm just going to click continue. You'll have to get the twins to console you, Dave. Right, I've also signed Carrion Cross. Um, so I will sort that out offline afterwards. I don't need to do it now. Right then, Josh. You're up. Uh, Miz went to Wrestlers Court for some reason, but sorted out. Right then, Josh, do you want to have a look at your roster or anything? Oh no, you don't need to do. You've already done that. Let me know what you want me to the the first segment of the show, Josh. Can you put the same notes on all of my matches? What same notes? Are you going to tell me what the notes are now? Open match, decisive win. Okay, okay, that's fine. Right, what's your first segment? Yeah, that's fine, Josh. Right, opening angle, the rock on the mic, Roman solo, all not rated, opening match. Okay, let me do the angle first. Angle. Are you just are you not having Cody or anything in there? In the in the angle? I assume it's like a bloodline promo, isn't it, at the start of the show. Okay, so they're gonna be two separate angles, that's fine. Um I'll just add the note to advance the storyline. Match. Right, opening match, Becky Lynch beats Shayna, second match, DIY, okay. 
Is Seamus not injured? Oh no, she's not injured anymore, is she? Open match. Decisive win. What's that? And then. match who was it again DIY versus yeah DIY beats the Miz Up. Just bloodline with Cody for the opener. What? I don't know what you mean. With that, oh, okay, that's the what you're on about. Uh, Mike Angle, Cody, and Seth. Hold on, let me catch up with what everything first. Okay, it's, yeah, two angles. I always book from the bottom card up saying, oh, okay. How do I do that then? What you can you ch can't you change in preferences? But I don't think we can change it now in preferences because we're playing. Uh, hold on, let's check. Preferences. Where is that on the preferences? What's it called? Untip main event header mode. Okay. Untip main event. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh no no. Do I untick enable book main event first as well? So I just leave our uh, keep main so keep main event mode and then untick main event first. Once the one you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Right, so that's that done. So we'll just go back to the show. So do you literally want me to reverse the order that's in now? So you want you want Tell me what order you want me to start the in from from if we're working it from the bottom, so the opener, what do you want the opener to no that's right now. Okay, that's fine. Cool, right. What do you want next then? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Got six people in it now, we're doing well, cooking on gas. Hello to all the other people on Twitch watching us. Um feel free to say hello in the chat if you want. Or if you're a bit confused what's going on, just to let you know, me and uh, my friend Josh and Dave on here, um, we are booking WWE, I'm booking the, the Raw brand, Josh is booking SmackDown, and um, we've created a new brand for Dave called Dynasty, and we're booking, and Dave's booking that. Right, Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus now. Oh, I just said Sheamus there, not Sheamus. Sorry, me and my girlfriend have been watching um, Shameless from the beginning, the UK version. Shameless drew. Drew beats some opening match.
for some reason that's the main event now i don't know why so you want that to be the oh open match sorry yeah sorry i thought you meant that as as in the opening match sorry right so chad gable beats jay uso Andrew, okay. Okay, so I've done that so far. You've got, you've done 114 minutes so far. Is there anything? Oh, one more angle to close the show. Rock Roman, okay. Wouldn't that be too much? Oh, you know, you know how to play this game better than me. I'm not going to question it. You want Roman Reigns? Oh, you want Roman Reigns on the mic as well? Because usually you don't rate, you don't have him rated on there. Fine. Right, three angles. Hopefully, will be okay. There's only six. I've put them as eight minutes each. Do you want me to change the angles to six minutes each? Because I swear you said that it's got to be no more than eight minutes. So I've just been doing eight. Six minutes. Yeah, I've got, of course I'm going to have Paul Heyman. It's just an easy... It's a cheat code for the game having Paul Heyman on here. Right, okay, so... Six minutes. Six minutes. Oh no, it's bloody playing up again. What the hell? Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know how I fixed that then, but I just fixed it somehow. Uh, let me just save this so we don't have any mistakes. Right, I've saved it. Six minutes. I think that's all the angles, isn't it? Sorry, I had an itchy nose. Oh, I've got a spot. Uh, anyway, right. Sorry. I know it's probably disgusting watching me doing that there. Um, right. So you're all good. Do you want me to start the show? You've got 116 minutes. Do you want to add anything? Yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, one of these people, if I've got a spot or something, I have to squeeze it there and then. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Right. Uh, 95 angle. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Josh, at any point, if you want me to stop and then and then go back to the booking sheet, let me know. I'll try and give you like a few seconds so I don't just go too fast. Uh, I think you might win this one, Josh. I think you might have the best rating for a show. Becky Lynch defeated Shayna Baszler, 96 minutes. Sorry, got a 96 rating in 20 minutes, sorry. 85 rating when you got the Miz and our truth I'm screwed. There's no way I'm beating you today. Yep, our truth and the Miz showed excellent chemistry together. Let me just check the chat first before I. Josh, you play this too much. It's not fair. You, you you're cheating. Ninety one rating. Eighty three rating for the match. Ninety three rating for this match. I hate you, Josh. <laughs> Uh, and the angle got a 92 rating to finish the show. Oh, Josh, neck and neck. Oh, <laughs> I'm amazed by that. I'm amazed by that. I thought you were going to destroy me. 
I would have got a higher rating as well, but I sacrificed a few things. I had Von Wagner in a match, for God's sake. Oh, the challenge is on now, isn't it? <laughs> There's no way you should you should have beat me easily. I just followed Josh's I just followed Josh's lead. I was worse than you. So yeah, Josh plays this way too much. He's cheating. Right, so that's that. What are we doing for time on the stream? Uh I don't think we'll have enough time to do a... Uh, no, probably not. I mean, we've only... We've got 25 minutes left. Might be able to do mine. I can change... Let's have a look. Let me just go through the news items. So... Uh, Braun Strowman and Scarlett have come to WWE. They will be on my Raw roster in the White family. Oh, sorry, Josh, I forgot to... Oh, it's here on here. You got um, 23, 23.3 million sorry, viewers, if you wanted to know, Josh. Um, right, what was I going to do? Uh, we're going to edit Chad Gable, aren't we? Right. In game editor. It is, isn't it? Yeah, there might be some nights, some days where I'll end up booking too, simply because it's not because of the order of things, really. Um, attributes. Not attributes, skills, in it. Right? Can you see what I can see? No, you can't. Bear with us, Josh. Right, Josh. Let me know what you want me to improve on Chad Gable. What you think to make him a bit more fair. If I think you're taking the piss, then I'll tell you. I know what you like, you sneaky bugger. Uh, oh, pardon me. Respect. for respect Absolute experience as well. okay so that's 70 is there anything else you want me to change Safety, we'll put 85, acting, we'll put 80. Anything else? Okay, is there anything? Is there anything, any, is there any other wrestlers that you think are under rated? on your rosters that you want me to alter a bit because I'd rather just spend 10-15 minutes doing that than booking my next show. I'd rather take my time booking my next show so I'll probably call it an end to the stream early if it comes down to it. I don't really want to book a show in 20 minutes. I'd rather just do it offline and then start the next stream. Dave, is there any anybody you want me to alter a bit one way or another or have a look at that's on your roster that you think needs an improvement on that you think has been underrated in the game
Anybody there? Are we still alive, people? Dave, you're still alive? You're all good. Josh, is there anybody else? Okay. Sorted. Right, let's have a look. Uh, should we have a quick... No, I won't bother. Right, we'll just forward this now for two days, see if anything comes up. So... Right, Cole Anderson, Luke Gallows and Nia Jax are all signed. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go look at the brand split and we'll go unbranded workers and we'll just work our way. So I've obviously got Braun Strowman. Uh, oh, let me check the chat so I'm not forgetting it. Oh, okay. Um, I've got Boogs. Go Gacy. Who is it? The one of the Good Brothers. It was you, weren't it, Josh? You, you, you want the Good Brothers on your roster, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody else that you guys want me to sign to put on your rosters that's not on there? Who wanted Nia Jax? Josh, was you the one in Nia Jax or was it uh, Dave? Yeah, okay. Right, so that's everybody done on there. So what we'll do for the next five minutes or something like that, we'll just look at uh, potential wrestlers. We reset. Does anybody need any wrestlers with certain skills that you want me to look at? Oh, I know, I know what we could do. We could look and see if we can find Dave some managers or something. Decent managers with good talking. What do you look for for a good promo, Josh? Oh, I've already got Bo Dallas. Sorry, mate. He's, he's uh, Uncle Howdy and the, the leader of the new white family, isn't he? Mic only, yeah. Sorry, Josh. Right, microphone. So we go 80. Microphone. In fact, we'll just leave it as any roll. See what comes up. No. We've got... Oh, no, I need to... How do I get rid of it? So... Hold on. Is it status? No. Uh... I want to make. I want to get rid of it so we don't have WWE ones on here, so we can actually. Ah, there you go. To hire. There we go. Makes it a bit easier. But why did it just get? Oh yeah, because yeah, because there's some there's some that are exclusive in it. In my saves, I've uh, Tay Wyatt. <laughs> Tay Wyatt. That's a good name, actually. It, how how is Bo Dallas doing for you? Is he a good is he a good enough worker? Alex Hammerstone. I think Alex Hammerstone is. Yeah, he's already with TNA on here. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, and now oh hold on. If I get rid if I do this, we do wrestler first and then manager makes it easier, doesn't it? So we've got Aiden English, for instance. He's all right, Bo Dallas. That's all right then. Um, Buff Bagwell. Anybody want to sign Buff the stuff? Bully Ray. Hold on. Did that? No. Randy Orton won't be happy. Nor Batista. Um, does anybody want to sign Bully Ray? You'll take Dalton Castle. Okay.
Enzo was hot on the mic. Yeah, but he's tox he's got a toxic reputation, and he if I click on him now. We can have Eli Drake if anybody wants Eli Drake, even though he's already in WWE as LA Knight. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Enzo Enzo apparently doesn't want to work for us. Yeah, I think I think what I what happened is when I added workers from the other database, we've got duplicates, so yeah, we won't bother signing Eli Drake, because obviously we've already got him on the roster. Uh who said they wanted Dalton Castle? You'll take yeah, so Josh is getting Dalton Castle. Right, let me just... Can I sign Gail Kim? I'm going to sign Gail Kim. Ethan Carter, the third. Uh, I feel like I've got... Too, I've signed too many lately, so I'm going to leave it open to you. Eddie Kingston. How can we sign Eddie Kingston? That, that can't be right. We're not signing Eddie Kingston. There's a flaw in the game. You want... Um, because he should be under an exclusive contract with AEW and then obviously New Japan USA as well. Right, so you'll take EC3. Does anybody want Eddie Edwards? No, no, okay. Uh, I might sign Eddie Edwards. I think he's a good worker. Uh, I won't sign from any ways. Loyal to TNA. It doesn't matter. Right, let me just quickly look down at this roster. And then I will scroll down in a minute. Heath Slater. Hmm. I feel like I could put him in a tag team with somebody. Actually, he would be a good addition to the White family. Oh, I've just thought somebody else would be a good addition to the White family. My roster is going to be very bloated by the end of this. Crazy Steve would be a very good addition to the White family. If I had Abyss, I would have Abyss in the White family as well. Uh, well, when, when we can't sign Tanahashi, he's loyal to New Japan. Jimmy Havoc, we won't sign. We won't touch him with a barge pole. Jerry Janella. Does anybody want Jerry Janella? That man ugly. What the... F oh, Crazy Steve. His face paint. Leave the man alone. Put Pop as... Oh, okay. I will in a second. Uh, we're not going for John Moxie again. He should be exclusive to AEW, so we're not doing that. No, we're not going to sign Jerry Ryan. Ken Shamrock. Does anybody want Ken Shamrock? Do you want... <laughs> Does anybody want Kevin Nash? I'm tempted to bring him in as a manager for X-Pac and uh, Robert Roode and James Storm, but I feel like I'm signing too many at the moment, so I'll leave that for now. MVP. We've got Kylie Ray. He's a good female worker. Mikey Whipwreck. No, Mikey Whiplash. Whiplash. We don't want to sign him. Uh, Suzoku. He won't come to us, I don't think, because he's loyal to uh, New Japan. Mojo O'Reilly might be a decent one. Mr. Anderson. No Way Jose. Paul London. PCO. Rene Dupree. Some reason wrong killings, even though shouldn't be there, so we can all that. Roderick Stone Strong, we're not going to sign because he's his exclusive contract with AEW. Sam Shaw, Sammy Callahan, Sammy Callahan. Oh, Sammy, right. You'll take Rod. No, you can't have Roderick Stone. Sorry, he's exclusive with AEW. We've got to be realistic to the game. Just remember, if you sign people who are on written contracts, they still do work for those other contracts. You want Sammy? Yeah, I knew you'd have Sammy as soon as you knew. As soon as you heard me say I wanted it. Okay, right. I'll let you have Sammy. Ah, uh, he won't come to us. Loyal to TNA. Let me see if I can sign him on a written contract. There you go. You go on a written contract. But he's not exclusive. 
Uh, we're not signing Sammy, Sammy Guevara because he's got an uh, exclusive contract rely. Uh, I'm sorry, lads. I'm signing this man. Ah, oh, Scott Steiner doesn't want to work for us. I'm so good about that. Who said... Hold on, let me check the chat. Did somebody say you wanted Tessa Blanchard? Yeah, we don't want Tessa Blanchard. We don't want people that are controversial. Uh, I can't remember. She was a... She was a... She, she bullied and was racist to one or two female black wrestlers or something like that. Yeah. She was in TNA for ages after the controversy, but... None of the big um, promotions will sign her. Sonny Kiss. Sunil Dashwood. The Godfather. The Sandman. The S Tim Storm. T Titus O'Neil. Trish Status. Tyrus. Vampiro. Velvet Sky. Does any of them want any of them interest you two? Nope. Okay, right, so I think that'll be that then, and then we'll just forward one more day, see if anything happens. And then we'll have a quick look at, we'll have a quick look at uh, NXT, see how they're getting on, and uh, and then we'll call it a day then, and then probably by the time we finish all that, it'll be nearly two hours instead, so it'll be alright. It's been a good show, it's been a good uh, stream though, I've enjoyed it. I'm amazed you didn't win that, Josh. You had 90 and everything. Right. So there's no... Nothing worth mentioning. Oh, hold on. Bill Goldberg's got morale issues. We just need to cheer him up a bit. Right. We've got 104.9 million in the bank, so we're doing well. We don't need to worry about money for a while. You want motor seat machine guns? Well, you can't. They're 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 uh, they're, they're tied in exclusive contracts with TNA at the moment. Uh, I have got them on the shortlist, so if their contracts expire, uh, we can go for them. But yeah, you can't get them. Right, let's have a quick look at how NXT is doing. So we go titles first. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. It's all right. Drew Gulak's still the champion. Uh, they haven't got any tag champions because we took the cha tag champions off them. Jakara Jackson's women's champion. Jason Paul's the cruiserweight champion. And then Flamita's the North American champion. Uh, let's have a look, see if you can see what I can see. No, you can't. Right, bear with us. Uh, tag teams, yep. So we've got the Bravado Brothers, Lock and Loaded, which is um, uh, Lucas Steele and Brady Booker. Uh, we've got the Old School Outlaws, which is Javi Arbanel and Corey Storm. We've got the Von Eriks, and then we've got the TNT, which is Devon's Kids. Uh, have a look at show history. I think if we just do it from here, I'll just I'm one with it is just point out any. Hold on, you can't see that, can you? Uh, no, you can't see what I can see. Both with us. Right, I'll just mention anything that stands out. Interview with Shawn Michaels, got an 80 rating. Uh, Lexus King of the Varex, defeated Joe Gacy and the Natural Born Killers, got a 76 rating. Only Lorcan and Ray Horus defeated Wesley and Gabe Stevenson, got a 78 rating. Drew Gulak defeated Shawn Spears to retain the NXT title, got an 84 rating. And then the next show they did, a uh, couple of angles that got 70s. 
Uh, Jason Paul defeated Alex Kane and Douglas James. Gigi Dolan defeated Madison Eagles, got a 76 rating. Gabe Stevenson defeated Carmelo Hayes. Noam Dar defeated Adam Brooks. Uh, let's have a look here. So, Carmelo Hayes and Yvonne Eriks defeated Joe Gacy and Lock and Loaded, got a 70 rating. And then Noam Dar defeated Ed, Eddie Ford. Noam Dar, the main eventer for NXT at the moment, by the looks of it. And then if we scroll down here. Richard Holiday, Holiday beat Oro Menza, got a 71 rating. And then Ferrego de Sol and Von Eriks defeated Douglas James and Lockie Lode, got a 70 rating. And then Duke Hudson defeated Wesley and Lexus King and Odyssey Jones got a 79 rating. And then the big one was Drew Gulak defeating Noam Dar to retain the championship and they got an 86 rating. Right then, that's that then I think. Let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything. Right. I'm off then, everybody. Thank you, um, Dave and Josh. Thank you, JBR3Z. Thank you, um, Bazinga as well, for turning up. Um, yeah, no worries, JBR. All the best, mate. I'll speak to you soon. And I'll be. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. UK time if you want to come along. But if you want to watch the replays, I, you can either watch them on the, on the video section or on my YouTube channel, mate. So, yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, Josh. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And we'll be back tomorrow at 2pm. All right. Any issues, let me know. See you later. Bye.